the whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys, it is Rick Day. we need to video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to snipe in Madden 17. Now, if you guys don't know what sniping is, if you guys are new to Madden, just got the game, or this is just one of your first couple of years of Madden and you really don't know what that is, basically it's when you get a card for cheaper than he actually goes for, and then you just put him back up in the auction block and he sells for them much. So say this Josh Norman was going for too many coins, but he got posted for 1.09, you buy this, put him back up for too many coins, and you make a ton of profit. So I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of different ways on how to snipe. So a couple things you can do is, now that there's a lot more 9094s, you can't just search by 9094s, but what you can do is you can search by all players, elite and then you can go into here you search by newest of course and then you go through every single team and you just click whatever team you want to look at and it'll bring up bam 59 minutes 59 minutes 59 minutes or it will say like seven hours 59 minutes you know whatever and i think the best teams to do this with are probably the vikings because of the fact they have paul cross they have xavier rhodes bar ap stefan Diggs. they have um who is it they also have the Senate Trajan Peterson and they have Randy Moss. This will also just bring up these elite collectible players. So if you know the price, all you have to do is really know the price of these cards. That's all you have to do. So a lot of the teams that I like to do are the Cowboys. I like to do the Eagles as well because they have Brian Dawkins. Really any team with a really expensive player is the one that you want to do. Like the Redskins, they have Kurt Cousins, they have rg3 they have sean taylor you could get this collectible right here it goes for like 500 and like 80k as shown right there you could get that for like 50k bang re-snipe that the vikings have really good ones too the steelers have some pretty good ones the packers i believe also have decent ones they don't have the best ones but you can get that bc aaron Rodgers. you can get a mon green you can get ray nitsky and just basically any team that you guys want to go for if there's a new legend out in the game I suggest just sorting by that team. Now, if you have a little bit more coins, I think the best thing to do for you is to sort by legends on the weekend. You basically just have to know what's in the game. If there's new team weeks on Monday, sort by team week, sort by elite, and then just, you know, you can either go by like 85, 89. You can sort by 90s if you're trying to snipe the heroes, but 85, 89 will probably give you the best chance to get the cards in the set. You sort by all offense or all defense, and they will just, you know, keep popping up as people pull them. They throw up in the auction block and they just get sniped. Some people just accidentally throw people up for cheap. Like, I believe Saturday, I accidentally sold my Jack Youngblood for 10K. So I just wasn't paying attention, thought I had up for 100K. So the best thing to do for Legends is to sort by 90 to 94, and then you can go by all offense, or you can go by all defense. Now, the best thing to do, obviously, is to switch in between these. If you just keep looking here, you know, Ted Hendricks, 92K, not only will you get snipes, but you can also find good prices where, say, someone goes for like 80K, you see them up for like 70K. Yes, you can snipe them and make like 2K profit, or you can just buy them and keep them on your team because it's a good price. So not only can you snipe collectibles and players, but a good thing to snipe is badges if you don't have the best coins. Because if you sort by elites, they keep popping up, you know, sort by buy now price for these because this will bring up obviously the cheapest. Since there are a lot of these, when you sort by newest, they're not always going to be the cheapest. So sort by gold, elites, a lot of the times you can get gold badges for 3,500 coins, 3k, 4k, Put them back up for 5k and they will sell giving you a net profit of about 1500 coins a gold badge when there are cards in the game that you put 10 of them into a set to get an elite player like these gold thanksgiving i did this a lot over the thanksgiving weekend you just keep refreshing like right here toy smith 5k bang bang snipe that you throw that up or back for 6k and you make about 400 to 500 coins i know it's not a lot of coins probably gonna make off these but these get thrown up so much you can probably get 15 to 20 of these in an hour probably make like 10k 20k maybe even more if you can get some for a couple k that's all you gotta do something that i did with this ultimate blitz promo is that since a whole bunch of people are doing these sets i like to snipe these as soon as the sets come out this tyron smith right here as soon as the set came out there was someone put it up for like 240k bought it sold it for 280 and then i actually got another cheap one for 220 and that's the one that's actually on my team right now so you guys just have to know what's in packs and you can just search for that so if there's a new set 
giving a new player maybe tomorrow tomorrow's monday which is the last day of the blitz promo say there's like a new player that's not gonna be going for too expensive you just keep refreshing and keep hitting newest right here just go to team or something keep hitting a as soon as the newest one is put up you can just see the price of it see the next ice up you can buy it really quickly put it up for you know a couple k less than the other one and you can probably sell it it's just a matter of knowing what's in the game like if there are signature packs in the game as a bundle topper or a legend as a bundle topper just keep looking for legends keep looking for signatures whatever you guys have to do to make your coins it's not that hard to make a lot of coins man to be honest you see i have 3.1 million coins sniping opening a couple packs getting a couple good lucky pulls but if you guys enjoyed this video and this helped you guys make some coins make sure to hit that like button subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time